the safest and probably most productive bets to get the numbers out of the LS3 heads after carefully doing the math on it was determined that the roof up to the spring perch. Now this is tricky because you don't want to go grinding too much on that perch to take away from the strength of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from there back because that seems to be where a little bit of the issue is and we're not going to go much. I'm probably going to move it about 60 thousandths from here all the way to the turn and then work on the short turn to get the numbers out of it. So let's go ahead. Once again, we're going to use the, uh, the straight cutter and go in here and terrorize it. Now, we're going to use the mark okay of that uh, valve cover bolt hole as a reference. Alright, we got our first depth cut right here. Now we got to follow it around. Oh, I forget, the aluminum moves real easy. So, let me see. Okay. Now, we got our depth cut. Let's get a closer look at it. And you can see the trench work on the bottom where I'm going to raise it about 50 thousandths to, I don't know, 60, somewhere in that range. And I'm going to go in here now and get ready to go ahead and do the, the raw cut as soon as I get the rest of them leveled the same way. Remember, I know I went over it a thousand times. I'll go over a thousand more. Do one mod at a time with the tool that you got. That way you keep a consistency, a pressure that you're holding down, the direction that you're doing your cuts. One mod at a time. That way when you're on the last mod and you're done, the entire head's done, and when you see, see it, it'll shock you how consistent all the ports are, port to port. Now that uh, the raising the roof depth cuts have been done, you're going to go in here with your biggest burr to move the massive amount of material that you can. I've had to adjust the light so you can see where I dug my depth. S trying to keep away from the hump right there on top where the spring perch is. see where it actually busted through the top right where the uh, valve cover bolt hole is 
that's going to be a reference point and a marker. That's going to let you know when you get it level straight across that you got the height that you're wanting. That's one of the ways. Of course, there's the math, which I will show eventually, but that's kind of a, a reference point in it. You know at that point that uh, and the mark where the stud come in that you've just about gotten most of what you're going to get out of here safely. All right, so uh, I'll go ahead now, and that's the raw material removal. We'll go ahead and start blending this. I'm going to show you how to roll it and keep around and uh, not take too much out of that hump area where that spring perch is, but yet give it a good smooth transition so that uh, the air can blend itself, come right up around the short turn, and do what it's supposed to do. All right. 